nine times out of ten, you're going to be meeting the owner behind the bar. So you really get a sense of the personality of the brewery, of the owners, and, and, and of the entire concept. People like that idea of having the small local place that they can go to. In some cases like us, it's the neighborhood place and a place they can call their own and get fresh beer. Any brewery that starts, they have to figure out uh, whether they're going to be primarily uh, distribution focused or tap room focused uh, or a mixture of both. And, and that's kind of where we land. Uh, our tap room is such a, a huge and important part of our business. So a lot of our efforts are focused on having cool events, bringing in live music. We're making beer, people are drinking it and coming back to drink more of it. So. Pretty much all you can ask for is a new brewery, but we're still less than five months old, so we're a very new brewery. When we do a new beer, it's gonna be done well. So if you drink a red, you're getting a red. If you drink a wheat, you're getting a wheat. And we'll, we experiment and we do other things, but people are gonna expect every single beer we put out to be high quality. Hey, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. So all the people who are trying to find all the new craft breweries, they're willing to put in a little bit of extra effort to come back down some uh, strange complex off Oracle Road and find us in the back of it. Yeah. We pretty much quickly decided we did not want to be downtown and we liked the northwest area of Tucson. The industrial park, kind of seek and find. Once you know where it is, it's easy to get to. And from there, each one has its own little flair. We really like to have a foundation of just good beers. I like using locally sourced ingredients. One of our flagships is the Mesquite Agave, which at the time I was doing the research, we were the only commercial brewery using ground mesquite flour. When we make something like a German chocolate porter, uh, that's something that gets a lot of attention and, and folks really go out of their way to find. Uh, as well as we're trying to stay on the modern, maybe cutting edge uh, side of uh, hop forward beers. Now we're actually open seven days a week and just because the demand is there. We've got folks uh, coming in from out of town. Beer tourism is a huge part of why we open early on the weekdays. There are folks who specifically travel uh, with the sole purpose of visiting new breweries and trying the beers. It's really become the way to get a good idea of the culture of a city. So you go somewhere new, you see the museums, you see the parks, and you see the breweries. And that, I know that's what I do personally. I always want to check the new breweries out of a city. You look at our brew, uh, the tap room, and it's us, it's our friends, it's uh, the environment that we want to create. While you can put that on a label, it's hard, I mean, it's an experience. Not only do we feel like it's a smart business move to do, but it's something we care about deeply. We want to interact with our community. We want to be a part of Tucson, and part of that we feel like is serving folks through the tap room.